Alright guys, welcome back to day four of working on the front splitter. Um, went to Bunnings, picked up the mounting hardware, or what I think I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is just put this in here. I'm just going to drill out the first hole first, right in the center where I want it, and then measure the center from the second, from the top hole to the bottom hole, and then do the same thing here. And then when we do that, it should all match up. Um, this side, if you remember, there is only one hole and the second hole back there is, um, it's not threaded, it's just a big hole. So I might, I'm gonna do uh, two holes anyway and just put a bolt through just to kind of hold it. If you just have one, you know, just to stop the sidewoods play. And then I was looking up these two points, that one and this one here where the horn is. Um, actually that might be a bit hard now. Maybe I go off a different point, but I want to put in some wire rope or steel cable just to hold the edges of it. So we have the solid mount in the front and the flexible rope on the edges. And then hopefully that'll be strong enough for me to be able to stand on. I don't know why I'm using that as the standard of how strong it should be. But if I can stand on it, I think I'm fairly confident that um, it's not gonna come off. Anyway, so let me drill the first hole into this thing, or the both of them, and we'll see if it fits up. All right, welcome back guys, it's day five. Um, you know, it's taking a little bit longer than expected, just just going back and forth between my place, my parents' place. I'm um, slowly plugging away, only really spending three, four hours on this a day. But welcome back, day five. Um, if you remember day four, we were a bit defeated uh, by the bolt sizing and everything, but day five, we have gotten the kind of upright posts in for the split a stand so these things here got one there one there haven't fully tightened them down but that's that I'm going to put the whole splitter under and then figure out where those bolt into this U piece here so that's today essentially if I get the whole mounting system done today then we can sand paint hopefully it's just only another extra one or two days but um, let's figure that out. Let's get that back underneath the car, figure out how, how long those need to be, if I need to trim them down anymore, and um, see where we go from there.
Okay, so as you can see right now, that is where the uprights stop and the splitter is, so I need to reduce the upright by this amount. Uh, I measured it, it's about 6 centimeters. so if we take 60 mil off the, the top of that, should be okay. In terms of height adjustability or angle adjustability, I'm not sure how much of that we're going to have, but let me do that first. I mean, it's not that hard to make up a new set of those uprights anyway. But, um, yeah, let me trim off 60 mil and then see where we're sitting after that. All right, little update. I did a lot without filming, but I got the two uprights in, drilled the cut and drilled the crossbar on the bottom. Um, it looks like it's holding pretty strong. If we check the level of it. It's pretty straight. I'm gonna say that's pretty straight. Oh, it's pretty stiff. I don't know if I can hang off it, but pretty sturdy. Um, so next is to put that back on it. As you can see, I did end up cutting out this big portion for the downpipe and the exhaust. I think I might need to cut a little bit here too for the um, the toe point. The front toe point is pretty low as well, so you might need a little bit out of there. But um, I'm gonna put that back under there, see how it lines up, and then make the bolt holes for the cross piece there. Okay, so update time. Um, you can see the crossbar is there. I'm just trying to mark out exactly where it is so it doesn't move, so I can drill the bolts that go through it. That'll, that'll what be holding the thing on. So as you can see here, the cutout I made for the dump pipe is working quite nicely and then here if you can see it's a bit dark let me try to brighten it up okay super bright but at least you can see now um, the toe point that goes all the way down there does hit on the splitter a bit so I'm going to cut a little U out like I did here just on this side End of day five update. We have the splitter sort of mounting system done. So this is all bolted in. It's quite solid. You can pick the whole thing up just from that point. But the other one is on the car. So that's done. Um, next day, cut out that little section for the toe point to fit through and once we do that I'm not sure you just have this little hanging piece here how strong that's going to be so it might need to be reinforced but yeah we'll hopefully get it mounted next time and then sanding in paint but yep day five done <laughs> 